Alright guys, hey Zink here, welcome back to the channel for another Street Fighter Duel video. This is a video I didn't want to be making to be honest. But we are going to be going over the trial for Rufus, who is a paid character. Um, once again, cementing the trash tier level of this game. Um, I say that because honestly, this is the only game that I play that has not got any kind of real Christmas event and what I mean by real Christmas event is something that is actually given back to the players giving them like a decent amount of summons or some decent rewards or whatever no instead we get a shitty login event where we can get a few resources nothing spectacular and at the end of it we can get a box that has one unit in it that is probably decent enough and it is flame aid on and most people probably already have the guy maxed out so crash tier event absolutely fantastic loving the fact that the developers are continuing down this train of not giving a fuck about their players and for christmas we have got the awesome 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 offer of being able to buy that fat bastard for 50 bucks yes do i recommend them i don't even care i'm not even going to talk about it because you know what they are not getting any more money out of me um, it's been that way for a while and to be honest they can go and take a flying fuck to themselves because we're never going to get another free to play legend let's face it it's not going to happen this, this was their golden opportunity. Rufus is not hype in any way, shape or form. He is not a hype unit. He is not going to move numbers. They didn't even give him the Chun-Li discount. They did not even give him the massive discount. Well, I say massive discount, right? But they, they're selling them for 50 bucks. They are selling them for 50 bucks. They do not care. They do not care. It's quite obvious to me, and it has been for a while, that... They are literally on autopilot for this game till the day it dies. I don't think they're actually going to make any big wholesale changes like doing things to make it a little bit more free to play friendly, like doing things to give us a little bit more resources in game and stuff like that. Honestly, I think they're just going to sail along as long as possible, not giving a toss, hoping that they can inch out a little bit of money here and there wherever they possibly can. So, unfortunately, I've had to make this damn trial video so you guys can see teams that allow you to use this fat piece of shit. He's not a piece of shit in the same tier as um, Pharaoh Sagat. I mean, he's got some good healing and stuff like that. Do I care? No, I don't care. He should have been a free unit. He should have. 100% he should have been a free unit. <coughs> it's almost as if they decided... What I said in the original video, where I hoped he was going to be free to play, based on evidence. I mean, the evidence that I used to predict that he was going to be free to play was completely based on the fact that you could see that they were not advertising the trial and stuff like that. And I did say, the only way that I do not see him being paid, or the only way I see him being paid, is if the developers are idiots and they think that it's a surprise to not tell us about the trial and just drop him at a later date when, I mean, he's already been spoiled, he's already been advertised. Obviously, they are that idiotic because that's exactly what they did. They dropped him as a paid character, they tried to keep him as a surprise by not advertising this trial and then they add him to the game as a 50 bucks for Americans or 50 pounds for people in the UK. So just to be clear, that is about $64, $64-$65 for this seasonal novelty character essentially. So as you can probably tell by my tone and my demeanour in this video, I am just so over Top Joy. Um, I just cannot be bothered with them anymore. I still like this game unfortunately because I'm going to keep playing it. I'm just not giving them money. So yeah, they've lost a spender because again I just feel like players deserve to have a little bit of respect shown to them and the one or the two times a year that you can realistically do that is Christmas and anniversaries I do not think we will get a free to play character for the anniversary guys I do not think it will happen I genuinely do not think we will ever ever see one in game again 
honestly. I just think they're that greedy. We will never, ever see one in game again. I think the thing I'm most annoyed about is, I suppose this is my fault. This is no one else's fault. <clears throat> I obviously got some people's hopes up that we might get this guy free to play. I explained why I thought that, and to be honest, most people agreed that my logic was sound. But I'm quickly learning, and I should have learned this a long time ago, when it comes to Top Joy, you cannot, you cannot bank on logic. Logic does not apply. You cannot take logic that applies to every other type of situation in the world and apply it to what Top Joy would do because they are greedy assholes. 100% greedy assholes that clearly do not give one iota of a fuck about their player base. It's a sad state of affairs. It really is a sad state of affairs. I've joked before about how, I think I said in one of the last videos that uh, something about, I can't remember what it was, but in three months time, who knows how this character will look, but knowing my luck, the game will probably not still be running in three months time. Um, as much as that was a joke, <coughs> I I don't see what they're doing to make this game run long term. I don't, right? Plain and simply, I don't. I'm not trying to put the fear into people or anything like that, because hey, I've got no basis for this other than how I feel. But when you've had glaring issues like lack of box space, not being able to do anything with dupes, people talking about pity for the last god knows how long, probably 10 months, <coughs> people talking about lack of variety within events, people talking about bugs that go unfixed for extended periods of time, the fact that as players we can pretty much be just as lazy as the developers now with the meta because the meta now for bosses is play as much as possible using flame aid on hope that you've got more patience than the other person and you can get enough stacks of flame you can attack within that split microsecond of the attack animation that allows you to dodge a pivotal attack that would have killed your team to stretch on, then hope you are someone who summoned Virgil's EX move so that you can get an extra round of that damage from him. That is the meta. That is the meta. That is what you see constantly. Every single time someone puts out a video now saying, guys, here is the team to beat this boss. Guess what? You are going to see Flame Adon being used over and over and over again. Now, I've got no problem with that because he's an accessible unit, but it just goes to show you that there is no variation within the game anymore, and there hasn't been, to the point where whatever works for one boss, you can pretty much copy paste it to work on every one of these event bosses going forward. That, in my opinion, is a sad state of affairs, and it is caused by them. This video has been your guide to beating this stage. It has also been me venting about the fact that they are even selling this character because honestly, I feel like they are worse than the Grinch. They haven't stolen Christmas. They have just stolen all the fun, all of the love, all of the goodwill that they had for this IP. They have relied on the fact that they have people who are too invested to stop playing, me included. They have not done anything to retain players. They are completely coasting off of the fallacy that is spent cost or whatever the hell it's called, sunk cost, because people don't want to give up, because people have spent thousands, people have spent hundreds of hours, people have spent whatever, but as much as I like this game, I cannot defend this as a good game anymore, right, I can't, I can't, because Top Joy have chance after chance after chance to make slight changes, you're not even talking wholesale big changes, right, seriously, you're not, all they need to do 
like I've said so many times, is even add three legends a year. That's free. Like, let's be completely clear here, guys, right? You guys don't understand this. Some people will argue this point, but you need to listen to what I'm saying. From the moment this game has launched until now, okay, so that's been what, almost, well, that's about 10 months, coming up for 11 months, they have added one free-to-play character to this game, okay? They've added Fashion Blanca. Fashion Blanca is the only, the only free-to-play character in this game. Now, some of you will come back to me talking about units like free, free to play add-on and stuff like that. Those are not free to play characters. They're free to play accessible characters because you can use normal currency to summon them. You can get tokens and stuff like that to summon them. But they are summonable units. They are not free to play units. The thing that makes a unit free to play is if you either earn them, can grind them, or they're given away as like a login or something like that, which obviously Fashion Blanca was. He has been the only free to play character we have had in this game. And honest to God, I can't think of another game that's like that. I, I honestly, I cannot think of another game that is that stingy, that has literally no regard for the players. And this, to me, was a golden opportunity for them, even if they only wanted to do it twice a year, on the anniversary and at Christmas, to give us a new free-to-play character. They didn't have to be a good character, just doing it shows that they actually understand that people don't just want to spend money constantly. I'm, I'm not going to stop covering the game. I'm not, but maybe possibly you will start to see my attitude towards it shift because honestly they are just a massive massive letdown of a developer um even though i know it's not top i even though i know it's not crunchyroll and i know it's not a plus that actually make the decisions i've said this a long time ago i still think they are largely in part to blame because they signed a deal with top joy that gave them no control none whatsoever so as much as they can sit back and say it's not our fault we don't get to make the decisions top joy make the decisions it's your fault for signing a deal that allowed top joy to just do whatever they wanted and your name is on the product so in my opinion you're as much to blame as they are you should have said top joy make this character free give it to the players it can be the anniversary top joy one year anniversary make this character free that can be their anniversary so instead what we're getting is guys give us 50 bucks take this mid shitty looking character he is your christmas present that you're buying from us then just remember guys next month we're probably going to drop a collab that we're probably going to want a lot of money out you for and because we are that scummy of a company we'll probably make it one use currency because that is how we top joy roll and don't worry guys, we'll make it two parts so that you don't know what's coming in part two and you'll have FOMO worried that you're not going to get the units that are part of part one. You'll spend all your money so that in part two you've got nothing left and you've got to spend even more money. And then right after that, we'll have the anniversary where we are going to release a legendary unit that is going to be cracked out as nut and we'll charge you a fortune for that as well. That is their business plan. That is how they're going to roll. Unfortunately, we don't have that many characters left. So, hey, I'm not, again, I'm not doom posting. I'm really not. But if you look at the chitty of characters that we have left available, would I feel comfortable spending thousands on the one year anniversary or just before the one year anniversary? Hell no. Hell no. Because as much as originally they said this game had a two year plan, I think it was. Do you really want to spend thousands on a game that you know for a fact is going to end within a year maximum? I don't, that's just my feelings towards it. Anyway, venting, getting off my chest. Massive, massive tangent. But I'm really pissed off about this because again, they should have just given this unit for free. 
they should have 100% they should have given them for free instead what they've done is they've done a shitty login that to be honest is on par with what they've done at St Patrick's Day what are we saying St Patrick's Day is on the same level as Christmas I don't know Top Joy you can go and fuck yourself I've been Hazink thanks for watching and yeah catch you in the next one peace